Hey everybody and welcome back. We need to hustle because um, we've got a job to do for the janitor apparently and um, let's see where do we need to go. The NSC energy converters. I guess this is the right area, right? But uh, apparently the janitor, because he helped us get the power back online, uh, is expecting some favors from us, which of course we're happy to do. But we are on the clock, so we want to hustle down there and make sure that we stay on his good side. Because whatever he is and wherever he's from, I, I get the feeling he's going to be important to us in the end game. So we can't um, just like disregard his side quests. Okay, we're heading in the right direction. Uh, oh, it's my... My old enemy, the map. You probably get in here now, I'd think, right? No, not yet. Uh, which way? This way. You can access there. We'll come back for it. Go to the NSC energy converters. Okay, hang on. I think what we need to do is get to the NSC control point in there. Control room, yeah. How do we get down there? That will take us where we want to go. Unless we can get through here now. No. Good luck. Alright. Let's, uh, let's jump, actually. Oh, gosh. Um, oh, energy converters entrance. I did not see that before. A little bit of reading comprehension would help, huh? So I wonder what exactly this is going to be. Is there something we need to knock out uh, from a mechanical standpoint or enemies or... Okay, we're here. Oh, okay. Enemies, huh? That I can deal with. Alright, let's take cover here. Right, let's get rid of the big guy first. Uh oh, watch out for the grenade. Alright, we got this big one here. There we go, got him. Oh, we need some more stuff. Okay, big guy's down. Let's find something else. There we go. Got his shields down. Oh, that didn't quite work. Hang on. I'm trying to wait him. Oh, shoot. We need that for the room to stay open. Uh, okay. My bad. Oh, how did you get in here? Oh, shoot. Oh, no. We only get one shot at it, huh? How did he, uh... He, like, blipped through the wall or something. That was... That was weird. Okay. Um, shoot. Well, that, that's disappointing. I hope we didn't... Um, are we going to get another crack at it? or What's the deal now? Man, I should have just kept retreating. For those big guys, like, you can't just take them on head-to-head. -head. Um, uh, damn. That's disappointing. Alright, well... This is the other one we have from the janitor, the burn the trash one. So, where exactly is that on here? That's down in the f the uh, fuel area. So, okay, let's fast travel down there. Down to, what is that? Coolant pumps entrance. 
and we'll knock out whatever this uh, other errand is for the janitor. Okay, so at least that was a learning experience, right? We kind of know what to expect if we get the, um, is it up here? If we get the bureau alert. There's his radio with his uh, music. I like his music. So what a g burn the trash around the furnace. Trash are we like this stuff this looks suspicious. Trash. Did Atene barrels full yeah. of hazardous biological material? Okay. Good, we're on the same page. Like I'm breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but if that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. Huh. That's bizarre. Like what what function would um burning this stuff do why does he need us to do it i guess because we are super powered and maybe he is just a, he is but a man okay there's one up there give me that eat that in there um I see some reading material down there let's go ahead and grab that not before we get this go. Uh, all right. Reading material, what do we have here? Mail tube complaint. Hey, Bozer, get this. The accounting department still says they haven't received my expense reports. They say the receipts probably got lost in the mail tubes because of a shift or a threshold or some such fuckery and that if I don't have the originals, they can't verify my expenses for reimbursement. This is such bullshit. Why do we even use these fucking tubes if they just spit out our mail in some other goddamn dimension? <sighs> just venting here before I make a formal complaint. Useless pieces of shit. Love, Rodriguez. Hey, I guess bureaucracy is bureaucracy no matter if you're in a weird parallel dimension or right here in good old planet Earth. So, all right, let's toss this up here. I'm wondering if I should not be getting too close, but let's just see. Okay. Uh, how many more of these things are there around here? I guess there's like one or two more, maybe. Take a quick look around behind these. Also being on the lookout for upgrade materials as well. Aha! Uh -huh. I have you. You are mine. Executive kills boost. Okay. Oh, and there's the last one. Hopefully it's the last one. Fortunately, we can still move relatively quickly even when we're uh, holding this stuff, even though we can't sprint. Okay. Well, that's good. Oh, we got some uh, ability points out of that. Nice. Looks like we got a file or something to pick up. My name is Dr. Pierce. Oh, audio log, okay. researcher of the parakinesiology department. I believe I've discovered a code omega paranatural entity residing within the bureau itself. Code omega? What is that? Right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording... I need to convince her. The furnace can speak. What? It's been talking to me the for furnace? some time now. Listen. <laughs> Did you hear that? It's a sentient uh, force. No. Capable Was I supposed of communicating. to? I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe it. Oh, oh sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Um, what do you eat? Can feed you? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. Uh, what? Like people? Like it needs to be sacrificed to? Let's get a closer look at this thing. I mean, seems hot. Okay, well, uh, I don't know what the dealio is with that. I assume if we found the janitor again... Maybe we could ask him about it. Very weird. But okay. Uh, at least another 
job done for our good buddy the janitor and actually um, maybe we want to go check in on him real quick because he said he had a few other jobs for us to do and I would like to get it um, one looks like the closest I think I would like to go ahead and get it on the the job queue so to speak just in case we happen to be in the area for uh, wherever he wants stuff done to be accomplished so hello it's my name don't wear it out Hopefully he is going to be pleased as punch when we tell him that we cleaned up the furnace. Um, let's just not mention the whole uh, failed uh, bureau invasion thing. We died trying to kill those guys. It's all in the past. Alright, janitor's office just down here, I think. Yes, perfect. Hello. I'm back. I speak to you? Okay, you're busy. Alright, we got another job. What a mess. Clear the clog. Uh-huh. I wish I had somebody to translate. Alright, um, you know what? Maybe we should just knock out jobs for the janitor. Maybe this is the Oh, Finn. So he's from Finland. Aha! Uh -huh. You've given me your secret. I know you are finished now, sir. Speaking of which, let me finish the job. I think he gets it. Okay. Well, let's go back to the nearest control point. And... Um, where exactly? Let's go ahead and activate the job in our queue. What a mess. Clear the clog. We've cleared clogs before, so... We're a little bit of an expert. And also, finding a fast travel station is going to help us to... Upgrade our abilities. Which we have a couple ability points now My to use. Open. Oh, we have, holy cow, nine ability points. How, I did not realize we had so many. Okay, so I definitely want this. Launch grenades, yes please. Uh, launch basic enemies when their health is low. I'll take that. Launch large enemies when their health is low. That also seems super helpful. Launch large objects. It's only, only costs one, but I'm going to pass for now. Uh, energy, for sure, we need to grab some more of that. Because we need to... I think that was part of the reason why this uh, the mission that started this episode went so poorly is I didn't have quite enough juice to get it done. And this next one, not enough. Oh, we need three. Okay, melee will pass on. Health we can't do anyway. Okay, so we're saving. We're saving from now on. Uh, what else? What else are we doing? Astral Constructs. Do we want to try another one of these? So, let's see. We have enough. Uh, spin has a generous magazine and high rate of fire best used in controlled bursts. Oh, that sounds interesting. I'd be willing to try it. Let's go. Uh, spin. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so how do we... Um, oh, I guess we're going to need to construct them all at some point, right? Hang on, let's go to our... Where is it? Grip and spin. If I had a nickel for every time I heard those words. Um, I'd have a nickel? No, I don't know. So what do we want to throw in here? Damage after kills. Accuracy. Uh, ammo refund chance on hit. That could be nice. It's a high rate of fire. So getting some ammo back would be nice. And I see now in the top right hand corner we have the uh, the Roman numerals, so the two is the uncommon, looks like. Maybe we'll take accuracy. Um, let's see, personal mods, how are we doing? Oh, we've got a lot that we could get rid of here. Let's just clear the notifications. Maybe I'll, I'll do like a little mod session off stream and just clear up some space there. Uh, switch weapon form. 
Uh, no, not like that. Oh, cool. Uh, how do I know what we have? Oh, sweet. It's like a, uh, submachine gun type thing. So, what, I just hit F? And it switches? Yep. Hit F again. Alright, so I guess really the only indication is just the, uh, like the ammo, um, thing at the bottom, the ammo capacity, and also it's a little visually different when you zoom in. Okay, well, I want to, I want to test it out for sure, so, clear the clog, where do we need to go? Down to the coolant pumps. Now, here's a possibility, we may not be able to access it quite yet, that's the other the other issue. Uh, we can go check it out. Looks like it's on a lower level that maybe we can't get to. Hard to say. Um, so if we go over to the furnace chamber, actually, we were just there. That might be a better spot to go from. So let's go down to the coolant pumps. We'll go along that little dirt tunnel or whatever it is and then we should be in the correct room to go back and check out the tunnel i think this is the right direction hope so yeah exactly now i'm curious to see if these guys have respawned because every once in a while it seems like we go to some area that we've been before there's our good old buddies the hiss waiting for us again uh, it doesn't appear to be so, so that's good news. Alright, coolant pumps. So, we need to go basically to the opposite side of the room from where we are right... Uh-oh. I uh, saw that right... Oh! Okay, so these guys are back. Pretty good. There we go. Yeah, this new gun is pretty good. Looks like you have to get a bit closer because the the, uh, the spread is a little bit high. But I guess that's why they give us the opportunity to um, switch the form. Okay, are we, no, we're going to the pipe works where we already were before. What we want to do is there, maybe? Is that where it is? We need to take the elevator up. Take a quick look up here. Seems like it's back in this corner. Reload. We're alone now. Hello again, Mr. Clog. You oh. really let yourself go. Where is it? Gotta be careful, cause oh, down there. Can we hit it from here? No, I guess not. Okay. Um. Clear the clog, indeed. Lock control remotely. Okay, so we gotta go down here. Let's not step on top of this, because I have a feeling that's gonna be death if we do. Read the notes. Water cooler procedures. No unique procedures required. If the item's form is different than any previously reported, then make a note describing the new form. The object's true shape and appearance are unknown. It has been known to take the form of the following objects. Rings of keys, lunchbox, wrench, microscope, stapler, glasses, mail tube, spoon... The item is able to adopt the physical form of items in its immediate vicinity. The item is capable of limited physical movement, repositioning itself whenever it changes form. This only occurs when it is unobserved physically and digitally. Because of this, the transition between shapes has never been observed. Reciting formula I-14 or I-32 causes the item to reveal itself by shuddering. The item was initially discovered within the bureau itself, whether an agent had brought it inside, intentionally or otherwise, or resided here prior to the bureau's arrival to the oldest house, is unknown. Okay, so it looks like a... maybe a water cooler? Or a microscope, or... 
any number of things. Alright, so... Uh, oh, okay, I see. We need to get the uh, blocks that fit in here, I'm guessing. Is that on the right track? So I see there's one there and there's one here as well. But I don't see any similar boxes. Well, there's like a box like this, but I don't think that's... Oh, is it? No, but I think we're on the right track. Uh, oh, I see. I think. Oh, yeah, I see. Alright, we've got a little bit of a puzzle going on. Okay, so... That's gonna open this. Which allows us to take this. And we'll chuck it over for us. Anything else in here? Anything spooky? Uh, forklift, broom... No secrets. A little surprisingly. Oh, and that opened those doors. Okay. Um... I am guessing um, that we need to take this and probably gonna say chuck it. Okay, I was gonna say that door, but maybe it's this one. Okay, let's not get lost in the sauce. Uh oh. Okay, so now that this one's here, I think what we need to do, come up here, because we're done with this area, grab that, that's going to lock the doors, there we go, I see what's going on, activate the draining pump, is here, go to the lower level and push back the clock. Okay, so we only got it part way. Our job is... A plumber's job is never done. That's what I always say. Sorry, Mr. Clog. I sincerely hope we never meet again. Okay. We do it. Oh, three ability points. Man, these um, janitor missions giving us some pretty nice perks, some pretty nice incentives for doing them. So, oh, plus we get all this stuff down here as well. Yeah, I mean, he did say, uh, you help me, I help you type of thing. And that is definitely turning out to be true. Okay, I think we got everything down here. We can safely walk on the grate now. Without freaking out. Uh, Alright, so from here... I see... Uh, let's just see if he has any other jobs. Maybe we just keep knocking them out. Because they don't... They're just like little uh, puzzles, it seems like. They don't take too long. Oh, we're going to have company, aren't we? Just getting those, those spidey senses tingling. Yeah, there they are. Alright, I'll farm some more guys. There we go, hold that. I see you down there. Okay, the spread is actually not as bad as I originally thought. It's actually not too terrible. Oh, who, who else? missed someone. Show yourself. Alright. Oh. Where did that come from? Spooky ghost gun. Okay. So, we're good there. Let's head back uh, up top. Uh, can we do it? We can. Look at us. I guess we could have just taken the elevator, too.
it's kind of cool that we can just sort of retrace our steps without it being totally locked off to us. Okay, so, janitor. Oh, actually, let's check out our abilities next. Um, uh, boy. Maybe we'll take a little bit more health. And then the next one will go energy, and we can kind of go back and forth for a little bit, and then maybe we'll think about the, uh, the other types of upgrades from there. Okay, fast travel, back to the janitor. Janitor's office, we want to go to the power plant. Kind of wish there was one right outside his office. Make look it a little, bit, a little bit simpler. You look alive. All right, we got to take the elevator up again. I swear, half of this is just, like, elevator the game. But it's good, it's worth it. I'm enjoying myself. I keep forgetting I have this, like, uh, evade power. Just because it's not in a very, like, ergonomically... It's, con like, the left control. Which is not, like, a super ergonomically uh, helpful... Um, thing to, to, to push when I'm sprinting. Oh, okay, so there's nothing for us here for the time being. Okay, well, sir, I did a couple of your jobs. Hopefully that's satisfactory to you. Um, okay, from here, I guess we'll go ahead and take on the only other mission that we have, which is... Yeah, Pope informs Jesse that Marshall went to the research sector to create more HRAs. Jesse believes Marshall may know more about Dylan. So where exactly is the research section from here? Uh, access corridor. It's I guess it's probably that last spoke of the wheel that hasn't been uncovered yet at the uh, on the power plant on the top left. So that's going to be my hypothesis. Okay. So sorry. But we have to take the elevator one more time <laughs> uh, to get back where we need to. It's so interesting, though, that everybody seems to know and kind of likes the um, likes the gender. So he is uh, a little bit um, mysterious, for sure. But he's not not a villain, I don't think. My eyes open. We ain't out of the woods yet. Okay, so which way do we need to be going? We need to head that way, and it's two spokes away. Okay, so it's not that one. It's going to be... Over here? missing. Is it like a door behind here? Oh, yep. I think we're on the right track. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. This is an ambush. All right. Keep him off us. There we go. There we go. We've got a couple of them. There's a lot of them. Alright, I'm not sure this is the form for us. Got one in the back. Alright. I'm gonna throw this sled. There we go. Oh, not you guys again. Alright, let's let him take out his buddy. Oh gosh. Evade. Get behind some cover. targets. I'm not sure what that... Well, that's another one of those alerts from earlier. Okay, we got him. We'll check that in a second. How are we doing? Boy, that was spooky. Okay, well, there was definitely something they did not 
want us to see over here. Pick up our... Uh, all of our mods and stuff that have dropped for us. Uh, all right, let's check this real quick. Executive major targets go to pneumatics. Okay, so I guess we'll put the main area on hold real quick because we want to knock out some of these. So, okay, we've got to sprint back to the control point, I guess. And fast travel back to the executive uh, area. I'm glad it kind of gives us the general vicinity that we need to be going towards, like the, the department. And I'm also not sure how important it is to accept these missions, pneumatics. Um, gosh, I don't know. I guess this, this one's the closest one. It's a little bit hard to tell with the different floors that are going on. But I imagine if we complete this within a reasonable time frame, we get a decent amount of uh, upgrade abilities. I'm, I'm guessing it's just kind of like the time diversion. So the janitor's um, quests are kind of like puzzles, and these seem to be more like combat situations that you have to resolve. Okay. So pneumatics. You are here. Yeah. Where is here? Um, okay, let's go ahead and pick, uh, pick this up later. Communications department, maybe through here. Okay, I think we're on the right track. Maybe, no. Oh, shoot. Let's take cover real quick. Alright. Oh yeah, there's a nice personal mod dodge efficiency. Oh, so these are like uh, bounties, I guess. Okay. Well, let's switch forms. Let's see if he's going to come out. Come on, show yourself. Take the dust the face again. Nice. Oh yeah, this is super good for uh, close combat. All right, let's switch again. Got one more to worry about. There he is. Did we get him? Oh shoot! No, we did not get him. Oh, we're not get him. Hang on, evade. All right, let's play cool. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. Be cool, be cool. Alright, we, we got a motor. We get some cover. There we go. Get him. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Come on. Almost there. There we go. We got him. Okay. There's one more minion down there. Oh, that was scary. So, okay. So, I guess we can expect, like, um, three-ish bosses to take on. We already... Oh, poor toilet. Janitor's gonna be so mad. Um, we did get some decent drops from those uh, guys that we took down. Go ahead and pick all up. Pick up all the stuff. Alright, good stuff. So, that is done. Let's take a look. Actually, let's reselect our um, mission. Actually, assets. We've gotten all kinds of materials for upgrades, collectibles. Uh, actually, you know what we'll do? Let's head back to the... Um, 
uh, what's it called, the control point that we were at before. And then I want to look through some of the hotline um, messages from Director Trench. But I feel like it's important for us to keep on top of all the information that they're giving us. Uh, but I think it's better to kind of save those for like the end of, of an episode. So from here, let's fast travel to... Uh, actually, let's select the mission first. Okay, we're, oh, we already are. We're tracking it. Okay. Uh, I want to say it's... The control room, maybe? Or no, the power plant was where we were. Yeah. And then we'll we'll pause to, to read the hotline, uh, or to watch the hotline videos, and then go from there. So, yeah, I wonder how, how frequent these missions are going to pop up, if they're just completely random based on how long you're taking, and they just throw them in for, um, to keep things interesting, or... You know, I don't want to. I don't want to ignore them and then miss something really good or have it have implications. You know. So okay, let's go ahead, go over to the hotline section, and got a couple ones from Trench. Internal lockdown procedures, and then his uh, his predecessor, I believe, he's talked about Northmore. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility, the privilege, to steer the Bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. To inspire and lead its people, to protect them. The board is there to advise you, but they want things in return. You hold all this in your old, trembling hands. I had to lose everything before I could see the Bureau is the director's life. There's no room for anything else. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition, terror, death. Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. Any emergency, any major containment breach, and the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override, only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me, and me alone. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, because he's talked about before how he has trust issues with um, allowing the, t you know, the rest of the team to do their jobs, really, uh, just because he puts so much pressure on himself. So it makes sense he would make himself kind of like, like he said, the last line of defense for anything going down. Okay, so here's the previous director, Northmore. Northmore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. Northmore was all about power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority for order, for more, until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end, contain the situation. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmore. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. Hmm. So there was 
no prime candidate, which is something that we talked about before with um, Emily, I think. So he was not P6 or whatever the designation was. He was just, you know, right place at the right time. So I wonder how the whole, I don't know, preparation, grooming, whatever you want to call it, uh, process occurs. Okay, and then we have a couple messages from the board themselves uh, about the countermeasures, these kind of bounties that they have in place. We are at war, hostile takeover. The hiss is the opposing force, foreign power. We will provide countermeasures strategy, accept, ingest them, and control points. These countermeasures missions will benefit you. We will give resources rewards for each completed countermeasure. Okay, pretty simple. Uh, the hiss. The hiss slash spread is searching for transmissions speakers to corrupt chaos. The astral plane is a complex switchboard. The hiss will come for us all. You must stop. Shut up. Shut up them. Huh. Kind of interesting that they're still using like phone analogies there. Like the the astral plane is a is a switchboard type of thing. But, okay, very cool. So, um, with that, guys, let's take a break here. When we come back, we are going to see if we can find uh, Trench's old operations director slash uh, flame, question mark, and certainly partner in crime, Marshall. So, thanks so much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed some, you know, minor janitorial work. Uh, it's 11. And with that, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.